Hi everyone, I'm back. Oh, my one candle went out. That's all right. We still have one that's going. All right. So it's 159 on the clock, and this is the seven deck read. And if you want to see the dice rolled, it's going to be in the prior video with the pick one of three. And there's amazing messages in there, so I would advise watching it. So if you want to see the dice and that, and I'm going to do the oracle cards at the end of this one. So you'll see the oracle cards here. All right. So this uh, seven deck read on the table that you see, get my phone. I had to break to call my daughter back, but let's see here. So here is the seven deck read that's on the table. This is the Syrian star seed deck as usual for the read that you see on the table. And then all seven decks are here. Okay. All right. All right, so, and the movies that came up were Human Capital and And that was interesting too, in the movie Human Capital, one of the characters was having twins in the movie. And then, um, came up last night. Oh, I met, hold on one second. I met my, oh, Jasmine Blues and the Perfumer, which was kind of dark. I don't, I think I fell asleep watching the Perfumer, but it was kind of late. But uh, yesterday I met my, not the youngest of my grand nieces and nephews, but the second the youngest, because Ava's the youngest, she's the one who's still in the hospital. But I met, um, I met, he's the, uh, can I think how many I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine great nieces and nephews already. And Lucas is number eight, Ava's number nine. And boy, did, Lucas have amazing energy. He gave me such smiles and he would stretch his arms out like a straight ahead of him, like like a like a tunnel, you know, like he was funneling his love to me and he, it was so cute. Anyway, he was adorable, amazing little soul that I just met. And um, here is the, uh, the seven deck read for you guys. So this was cut and dealt at 918, which again happens to be my birthday that just passed. 9 and 18 is the 9 of the Hermit, the 18 of the Moon. And then at 9.33, which is 33, the Christ vibration, and the 7 of Wands, standing up for yourself, even of crystals came up. So the evenness of cry stalls or purging, but also the evenness of being like Christ or Christ-like. And then just crystals came up by itself and also LS which for me is the right angle of Sophia coming up now, but it can come up as other things too. You can look up LS to see what comes up in the definition. And then again, just crystal energies coming up here. And that L and S can be the Lou and Sophia too, could be the dark and the light. At nine, because remember that's the fallen angel and we're in the fall right now. And then the Sophia being the light. So at 9.50, where I finished clarifying was the Hermit and the 50 of Ten of Cups, which is the emotional fulfillment or the happy family or happy ending. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't put my... I forgot to plug my mic back in. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry. Okay. So at 9.50, I completed the clarifiers, and... It the major arcana here were Guidance, which is the Hierophant, Justice, Karma, which is the Judgment card, and Starseed, which is the Fool. After the read was Luna, or the Moon, and Shadow, which is the Devil. There were two Wands, two Pentacles, one Sword, and no Cups in the main cards. And then as far as the characters, there were no Court cards, except for the Nine of Pentacles, which is not a Court card, but it can be a person. It's that Sovereign energy. And the Nine of swords came up here too. Is it the nine of swords or nine of wands? No, it's not the nine of swords, it's the nine of wands. So the wounded warrior. 
So the sovereign came up in the reed, and then the wounded warrior came up right after the reed, but there were no court cards. Before the reed, the court cards were Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. So the numbers in this read, we had double ones, two, triple twos, and double nines. So triple twos was the main thing, and I just we just ended that last read at 222 um, before that. And that was the read from 922, because this is when the seven deck read was done late at night on the 22nd going into the 23rd. So Double ones is the uh, justice, 22 is the, or actually triple twos, like I said, is the two of the divine feminine high priestess, the 22 of the fool with an open heart, taking a leap of faith, and the 222, of course, love, family, and community, and the lovers, and 99 of, of extreme compassion there, and agent 99, and 11 is justice, which can come up as max smart. So the 11 and the 99, which is also 99, which is 18, which reduces to the nine, which is the Virgo energy, and 11 is the Libra energy, which again is the sweet spot, right? Because that's right in the middle of the astrological chart between Virgo and Libra, between purification and balance. So those two are coming up here as the polarities here with the 222 two, two between them, the 12 of the Hanging Man, the 23 of the King of Wands, 35 of the Wounded Warrior, 56 of the Two of Swords, 67 is significant here of the Knight of Pentacles, the Loyal Humble Servant, 78 of the Ten of Pentacles, the of Heaven on Earth, that ultimate family energy, and then 89 of the Phi energy of expanding beyond yourself, which reflects the human body temperature of 98. We have on the code line, spirituality and rebirth, and the number 63 that came from 62 plus 1. And 63 is the Nine of Swords. 62 is the Eight of Swords of that prisoner anxiety. Then the Nine of Swords being that stress and, and hiding, not sleeping, you know, not seeing a way out of this nightmare because you have to get to the 10, right? So the energy on the code line here was all about spirituality and the rebirth. And we know that birthing process is very difficult. It's painful, which, it, you know, there are ways to make it not painful, right? To be one with it as opposed to resisting it. An essay on alternating currents here coming up. And an essay can be like in school an essay, but also an assessment of something like a test or a blood test of alternating currents or air conditioning, right? The conditioning of the air sign, the lovers number six, which is also Gemini and the twins and the two of pentacles and the ace of I put in motion of the I am presence of spirituality and rebirth. One caress lovers surrender to all that is so one caress of the lovers and surrender to all that is one office co-creates an acing a course of co-creation a tide of alternating currents as lovers perform one of co-creating spirituality and rebirth so we start this read at the two of wands upright which is the twin flames so you see that here, so the bottom of the deck here with the mini cards on top, that top big card here is that two of wands, literally it's twin flames. And beneath that is the, the knight of swords, the knight of, actually the knight of wands is there upright, the queen of pentacles upright, then the ace of cups reversed, the knight of cups reversed, and the eight of swords upright beneath the twin flames, the two of wands on top. The knight of wands and the Queen of Pentacles, dumping on the Knight of Cups reversed, imprisoned or imprisoning the Twin Flames imprisoned Queen of Swords, who's speaking with Hermit as their advisor. The King of Pentacles reversed gives the truth to the Knight of Swords upright and the Ten of Cups upright. Knight of Cups reversed rejected or settling out with the Queen of Pentacles upright and the Ten of Pentacles reversed, family, business, or community of dysfunction or loss, or the family of Ten of Cups who's between the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups, who's reversed. So, the King of Pentacles is reversed here with the truth. And on this day, this was a new day, was the 22nd, was 3811 and the 22 of the Fool. So the Queen of Cups and the Fool, oh, excuse me, it went 
to the 23rd. This is on the 23rd now. I went from the 22nd to the 23rd. So the 22nd was the 27 of the King of Cups. The 23rd was the Queen of Cups. So the Fool and the Queen of Cups, excuse me, the Queen of Cups was with the King of Wands, but the King of Cups the day before was with the Fool's Journey. And that's like the King of Cups or King of Wands. Um, but being the King of Cups looks up and becomes the King of Wands to come into the Queen of Cups on the next day. Very interesting the way that came up. So the King of Pentacles here is reversed at 1107 of alignment and justice with the Seven of the Chariot. The King of Pentacles reversed with the Truth and the Queen of Pentacles upright with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, dysfunction or loss of the family, business, or community. So he's reversed, but he has the whole truth and giving the whole truth. The Queen of Pentacles is upright, but she's with the dysfunctional family or the family who's going through loss. Um, so the King of Pentacles, and actually in my personal numbers, we were coming up as the King and Queen of Pentacles that day. The King of Pentacles reversed gives the whole truth to the Knight of Swords with their truth or delivery from the Ten of Cups happy family who may be jealous or rejected or insincere here, or that could just be the Knight of Cups reversed by themselves. But the sad Knight of Cups reversed sharing with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles reversed family, business, or community or legacy. And the King of Pentacles reversed may be with the Capulets as opposed to the Queen of Pentacles with the Montague family, right? The family of means as opposed to the family of good emotion. The twin flames anxiety, a prison or trap of the, excuse me, the queen of swords speaking directly to the hermit upright, where the king of pentacles is alone with the truth and the queen of pentacles upright with the ten of cups upright and the ten of pentacles reversed, the ten of cups between the knight of swords upright and the knight of cups reversed, sharing with the queen of pentacles, who's with the ten of pentacles reversed, loss or dysfunction held over the hermit's head. At 614, which is the lovers and the higher love of the temperance card. And then the four of wands reverse message of the page of swords and the six of cups and her children with the dark knight and the knight of pentacles reverse block or stubbornness. The justice, there could be a move of visit or instability here or the party's just over as the page of swords or that energy of mercury finds the light, the message or quicksilver to the Six of Cups loving children, the soulmates, the Page of Swords with a message from Scorpio or Dark Knight who's stuck or blocked or unable to function due to the injustice or deception and or deception or up the need to be up before sunrise. And Scorpio upright, Libra and Cancer both reversed here with the horse and the Hierophant or dog and master, the soulmates parted or horse and do or dog thinks it's unfair leaving before sunrise when they're able to fight for them, leaving soulmate, going to visit their soulmate, or leaving early when no con with no conflicts or traffic here. So again, this could be, you know, pets who don't like being left alone all day, which actually came up in my mind this morning as well. Um, and this was written the other day. Um, horse and Hierophant or dog and master, soulmates parted, or horse or dog thinks it's not fair, them leaving before sunrise when they're unable to fight for them leaving behind their soulmate, going to visit another soulmate, or leaving early when there's no conflicts or traffic. The Nine of Pentacles reverse dependent, or one feeling badly or powerless, to coming clean or cleaning up the act or space, or acting, stressed out, or trying to end the nightmare of coming together at work, with the Queen of Wands upright to choose a path with the Queen of Pentacles or Twin Flames. The Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles, whether male or female here, or twin flame with two women, or two women around them, or just always with women around them in general. At 624, the lovers, or the family, and the queen of wands here, which that's the way 24 is written, 24 slash 6. The queen of wands, X perhaps, may be dark or sexy or familiar, or with a familiar. The queen of pentacles grounded and natural, as and well-rounded, incorporating all four elements or um, suits. 
and has worn many hats. So bring up the difference between the Queen of Wands here and the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Wands could be the ex, perhaps dark, sexy, and familiar, or with a familiar. And the Queen of Pentacles is coming up as natural and well-rounded, who incorporates all four elements as the last suit in the deck. She has worn many hats, where the Queen of Wands may have the long end of the stick, and the Queen of Pentacles may have beautiful feet or toes and pentacle. Or the Queen of Wands is the Divine Masculine and is feminine, with dark familiar or dark cat, and low platform with lots of sexual attention. Or the Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles at work, or new or newly working together here. I was just getting newly working together here as well. I don't know if somebody is doing that. Not for most people, though. At 629 is the Lovers and the Three of Wands. With Death, Dark Knight, Transition of Horse and Hound. So again, Hugh Grant and the movies coming up. Um, the Page of Swords with a message. Stepping up to the plate with third party King of Cups reverse Scorpio or one with conditions or bad influences around him or little red boots with bad influences around them mimicking their parents' behavior without the experience to back it up or honest child with something to say to the King of Cups reversed, who's the bad influence perhaps and that could be you know a parent or an uncle or or, or brother whoever maybe they, they're depressed or they drink or Scorpio child unable to come together with the King of Cups reversed or messages about conditions to the Queen of Pentacles to inflame or their choice of path. With Virgo, Scorpio upright and Libra and Cancer reversed, true love worth waiting for, and the Knight of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles overwhelmed by the Knight of Cups reversed anxiety issues about choosing a path, or twin flame Queen of Pentacles and King of Cups who's reversed, the Page of Swords may be leaning on the truth here, or mother and child, sisters, or female friends, or partners, with child or pet who may have anxiety issues. The Ten of Swords reversed may be the worst over, or the bliss coming in as the sun comes up, or the bliss of it. Finally having gotten up very early, or no sleep at all at night, recovering without an olive branch, or doing it yourself, coming out of exile, injury, illness, by themselves without help, only by standing in their truth, naked only wearing the glass slippers or posing like a mannequin in the store window or modeling with people staring at their ass all day no faces or he sharing or staring at other people's asses all day but to them they're so used to it it's all the same they don't see them in a sexual way it's all business and again that could be like you know doctors and nurses working at a hospital lots of women taking their clothes off for them draining their energy for him to recover from injury or illness or exile, yet still never noticed over and over again, like a mannequin. Either they all pretend to be Cinderella, or he's so numb he doesn't notice Cinderella right under his Tom Thumb, or Thumbelina. Women showing off their sexuality or intellect are turned away here, one betrayed and recovering from illness, sadness, or need for sunshine to recover on their own, to stand in their truth only for them to, only for them to still not know they're alive. With Libra and Leo both reversed, or ain't no sunshine when she's gone, it's never been the same. Show-offs or fakes fall, and betrayals rise into their authenticity without gifts of roses, with bows, no liquid sunshine, no help to recover, might as well be made of stone, a statue to be looked at but never seen, no more stepsisters, big feet, or sister sledge, there's something about Mary, but also about sweet feet, at 655, the lovers and the truth, or noticing how drained they are, having sex without sunshine, or recovering without a sex life, or being chased, or chaste, meaning pure. At 655, the lovers and the truth are Excalibur, Ace of Swords, or this could be a yearly vacation that's now over, back to work or back to school, back to work, back to work mode or sexual dramas or advances. The Queen of Pentacles upright and the King of Cups reversed with a message as platform 
of compassion and creativity. So compassion is coming up as 99 and creativity as 3. With royal, purple, and gold, the world upside down, or the divine feminine in 5D, or Pisces reversed, with new information knocking them off balance. The high priestess reversed with secret passion, or the need to use their intuition, their intuit connection, to release anxiety, or Pisces getting out of prison, or playing their get out of jail free card, detoxing by offering the truth or writing to heal from loss, regret, or shame, or the past. Blue eyes, handle, or handler, the devil out of control, detoxing the fire through the pen that's mightier than the sword. With Pisces and Divine Feminine both reversed here, or the world upside down, needing to wake up and use their intuition, as the truth shall set you free, some of the truth shall set you free, but the truth will detox and heal you. Getting over lost regret of choice of path, or twin flame queen of pentacles, and the king of cups reversed, or Virgo upright, and Scorpio with conditions in a creative message. At 704, which again is that sweet spot, but in reverse, the seven of the chariot, the four of the emperor. Traveling very early, or finding peace at night, or early morn of regarding deception of the past childhood or a falling out with a best friend or soulmate or just parting for a few days with the devil reversed or the queen of cups reversed with capricorn in their chart or detoxing the queen of cups reversed with virgo or hermiting king of pentacles reversed or pisces with capricorn in their chart detoxing while the hermit king of pentacles reversed or virgo is taking care of things for them the king of pentacles reversed gives the truth to the Nine of Cups and Nine of Wands, both reversed here. One may be dissatisfied with themselves or with being alone, and one is the wounded warrior surrendering after vacation or drained without their sunshine, without kids or pet, or now that the summer's over, and healing from or in disconnect or distance from or with new information, clarity, and making a decision about the King of Cups reversed with Pisces in their chart perhaps, or the world upside down without Pisces or Divine Feminine in it. Cancer, Capricorn, Leo, Pisces reversed, and Virgo upright here, and Scorpio horse perhaps. And there's that energy of the horse in, a Scorp- in some Scorpio people that you might recognize. So there's that sad Scorpio combination. With Page of Swords upright message to Scorpio upright and Libra and Cancer reversed, which can just mean that Libra and Cancer aren't their sun sign, but in their chart, about injustice, deception, or losing battle with dependent or powerlessness about spending or sneakiness and stressed out at the workplace or at school or wherever they co-create with the queen of wands upright and the queen of pentacles upright and the twin flame or queen of swords perhaps between them or surrounded by queens except the one queen they want because all three uh all three it's okay it's just some a mail or message honey or all three queens came up here we had the queen of wands queen of pentacles and queen of swords but the Queen of Cups wasn't here, the one that they want. And now I'm getting the one that I want. Ooh, 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 so Greece is coming up. At 718, which is the Chariot and the 18 of the Purple Moon. Over it, with Truth and Detox, with the Twin Flame Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Cups reversed with the Page of Swords upright, with a message and platform of compassion and creativity. At 720, the Chariot and the Wake Up Call. So at 720, in the recent past, is the Three of Swords, the Healing Heart, the Knight of Wands chased by the Ace of Wands' new passion or growth or projects of ego with Leo reversed, child reversed, or pets reversed, or out of control, illness or no energy, or kids and pets out of control or trying to control the Knight of Wands upright, or Leo reversed chasing Sag upright, or demanding they take on another creative project or move, work, or demanding sex from them at the workplace and unstable home or constantly between work and school or home, juggling, performing, keeping their balls in the air, the juggling act between work, home and family and the high priestess, Pisces, divine feminine or secret keeper, the aid, the nurse, the nun, offering passionate bliss, arousing the knight of wands as magician reversed and their insecurities, the inability to manifest or the knight of wands upright manipulating the knight of wands upright again 
or themselves or two timelines of the Knight of Wands running back. One where egotistical Leo is at work, is constantly on them about what they haven't done, and one where the High Priestess offers bliss, performing the Knight of Wands, who's keeping their distance, feeling unworthy unless they manifest it themselves. The foundation here is the guidance card upright, the hierophant, the marriage, religion, establishment, or commitment, the societal norms of the star, the dreams, the reaping of rewards in a bold move, or wanting to travel or sneak away, to come clean about the injustices. With Taurus and Aquarius upright reaping all the rewards, while Cancer or Chariot is coming clean or cleaning up their act or space or the injustice of all of it. The central energy of the Six of Wands reversed, of failure, negative attention, neediness of attention, or doing things under the radar. And the High Priestess with the Emperor, High Priestess and the Emperor on two sides, where the Emperor lover or Gemini or twin is letting go to fix things in the downturn or in a twist of fate with patient angel. Or the Emperor's investing a little in Libra reverse Sagittarius upright, lovers or affections, and challenged by the Two of Pentacles surrender to all that is, no longer to have to school the golden goose or be schooled by the Sphinx always answering a question with a question or being hounded by the hounds of hell or by Akashic records or pulling records constantly, overworked or not working out with the Page of Cups reverse rejection or shyness, vulnerability or a spoiled child or infant crying or constant complaining at work while they're trying to work with disconnect or at a distance in the world upside down, with Pisces reversed or divine feminine in the 5D over their soulmate in 5D, rejected at a distance by the six of cups soulmate choosing work, receiving patience or homeless, injured or ill, in exile, sister or suffering in silence, trying to end the nightmare, the failure, the disabilities, unable to work, unable to work, feeling defenseless, I guess, here. And disabilities coming up here, too. And somebody getting paid under the table. Falling off the horse or wagon again. And the Three of Wands reversed without romantic ties, but a big love at work in a heated exchange, not telling and causing delays, walking away in avoidance, dumping multiple loads and or emotional attachments, to get over the confusion of the patient angel, queen of swords, grounding, integrating, mastering the page of pentacles upright or lessons learned at 745, the chariot and the purge or the five of cups of feeling bad about something. The queen of swords with offers of love and the page of pentacles ignoring them all with the ten of pentacles reverse loss or dysfunction or their backing is dwindling or paying for their past mistakes, or the Ten of Pentacles reverse is supporting the Page of Pentacles upright in school, so that could be family supporting a child, in the school of life or going back to school, or a good student of a wealthy family thinks they're above the truth, patience, and angels. At 748, the chariot and the 48 of walking away within, that Eight of Cups, now crowning is the injustice of leaving something they've put so much emotion into. Defenseless to X or lack of affection, fighting about new passion or what what drains them or what drives them to get over loss and regret, shame and guilt. The injustice of the Hierophant's ultimatum, the choice of twin flame, divine marriage, and the King of Wands upright with the Queen of Cups reversed, dumping multiple loads to heal without the ability to manifest. With the King of Wands with two lovers who must leave behind a narcissistic Hierophant, religion, marriage, establishment, or Taurus, or old man, or the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, who withholds sex to manipulate them, or the King of Wands, who cheated in their marriage, and the Queen of Pentacles, and Page of Cups reversed, rejected by, or rejected, the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Wands, who are all upright here, or vulnerable to each other. The Queen of Pentacles in a losing battle, dumping an emotional load, on the Queen of Wands, or pushed to the limit, overwhelmed, triggering the Queen of Wands, who's looking towards enlightenment, or watching awakening of those keeping to themselves to keep their energy clear, with peace of mind to find peace in their travels, with the Divine Feminine's heart, 
or the King of Wands upright. The King of Wands upright with Taurus, but no affection. The Queen of Pentacles perhaps is Taurus, and then the Page of Cups reversed with the Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands both upright, the Knight of Wands upright. They're all under one roof. Or the King of Wands in a breakup with the Queen of Pentacles, with the Page of Cups reversed, with the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, and Knight of Wands there. Or the Queen of Pentacles, who's dumping on the Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands, Capricorn or Pisces reversed, keeping to themselves to find peace. Or the Knight of Swords, going to the Divine Feminines to find their peace. And soon is Karma upright, the wake-up call, after no sunshine and detoxing, or another vacation and no school, or after vacation and no school. The Page of Pentacles invite or opportunity to fool with an open heart and willing to take a leap of faith. The Empress Upright done ending pain with the Knight of Pentacles reversed looking back at the Sovereign reversed. Or now that the worst is over between the Knight of Pentacles and Sovereign, it could be siblings or two earth signs or two people at work who are deemed as lazy. Or now that the worst is over with the Empress Upright and her Knight of Pentacles reversed and Sovereign reversed, or that could be the stepmother, right, with the children who get away with everything because they're her kids, or dependent kids in general, now the bird can take off for the stars, or focus on star, emperor, or just empress and emperor, now the kids are done schooling, with Aquarius upright, but Leo, Capricorn, Pisces, and Libra all reversed here, or baby found their independence, but other kids are out of work, or young people at work who are lazy or late all the time with no work ethic, or using the Emperor and the Empress platform just to jump to something else after they've trained them. The Twin Flames seeing themselves as the Nine of Pentacles reversed, powerless to dumping a load, burden, responsibility, and a wake-up call to lover and sudden events, epiphanies, and or sexual exchange, or dumping projects on Aquarius and Gemini and Scorpio upright, refusing to go back and forth with the Page of Cups reversed the King of Wands upright and the King of Swords upright here, or going, refusing to go back and forth with the rejection from those two kings, the King of Wands and King of Swords at 808. And that can be the two twins as well, right? The one who's mastered their thoughts and the one who's mastered their passions. At 808, taking a load off, spending or losing money or announcing in a wake-up call to lover, affection, and sudden events. 911, twin towers and the waking of the dead, Unable to express arrows of love, blocking, rejecting, the King of Wands and the King of Swords, of powerlessness, of loss of a child or pet or abuse called out, with the King of Wands and the King of Swords are forced to look at it, but the King of Wands is looking at it, but the King of Swords is refusing to look. Or the Page of Cups reverse is judgmental, and the King of Wands affectionate, and the King of Swords cold as hell. With Aquarius, Gemini, and Scorpio upright, and Aries upright, they're all upright here, around the twins or how they're seen as the star seed with a big bomb dropped on their head or crown or big download to the crown of grief, loss, regret, and offering penance or time, money, and effort to compensate those dissatisfied or arrogant, grieving that money can't buy you love or self-fulfillment post-war or post-virus. If I offer my love again, will you still ignore it? Trying to retrieve the pieces of their heart and soul. Grounding, integrating, and mastering how to receive love, to find happiness within self at 819 of strength in the sun, or the dance of the sun, of manifesting of dreams. The block here is the ace of pentacles upright, the groundbreaking plant, unable to sleep and rise above or awakening and coming out of the past of codependency, or as children of the emperor and the empress of wealth and privilege, or realizing your kids don't want the same things that you do or that you want for them. With rebirth, spirituality, and even more so parenting here, with dissatisfaction, or not liking surprises, or being shocked, or no longer happy alone and surprising someone else, reaping rewards with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, both upright, at the Divine Feminine's heart, spending <clears throat> with time to look back. I'm losing my voice a bit all through this last section. The Page of Wands is up before dawn or deceived the Divine Feminine's heart. This inheritance uh, to look back or somebody investing in their family lineage. The Page of Wands up before dawn or deceived the Divine Feminine's heart in the E-Tower. 
with the Knight of Wands and Page of Wands, inspired by the Page of Pentacles, invite to reap rewards or be honored in some way. The Twin Flame's heart, surrendering to get up really early and detox, to recover while in disconnect or distant from the wounded warrior who's now surrendering. The Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, dropping off the Knight of Cups reversed, to release them from their anxieties, the Twin Flame or Choice of Path, of the Hierophant or Taurus, dependence of star seeds downloads to heal hurt or heal their heart under the radar I'm, my voice is totally gone at this point the knight of wands and the queen of pentacles dropping off the knight of cups reverse to release them from their anxieties twin flame or choice of path of hierophant or taurus dependence of star seeds downloads <clears throat> to heal the heart under the radar or after falling off the horse, challenged by surrendering to all, in a wake-up call to break through the injustice of the Divine Feminine's heart, of reaping rewards of the wounded warrior's surrender, of deception and addictions out of control, as the hermit in exile above the wound or above the crowd comes out to recover and disconnect or at a distance from the wounded warrior's surrender. At 8.32, or 8.32 rather, is the dance of the journey, the twin flames healing heart to get over loss, regret, the shame and guilt, guidance by failure, or allowing oneself to fall off the horse in order to surrender to all, in need of balance and truth, of sovereignty, and to end karma in a leap of faith and break through to the divine feminine's heart. At 8.34, the dance of the hours of love, or going to the Divine Feminine to surrender deception, addictions, exile, injury, and illnesses, and recover while disconnected, surrendering to go the distance. The Twin Flames allowing the fall in order to reap rewards of the Divine Feminine's heart. And that was at 836, the dance of Atlas with the weight of the world. All right, so just pull a few cards for you guys. It's at 3702 the High Priestess and the King of Cups and Unconditional Love, and it's 2.36 on the other clock, which is the High Priestess with Atlas. So, And that's 36 to 37 is the, tr it's the transfer from the wands to the cups, from passions to love. It's like purifying the passions to inspir more inspiration as opposed to passion. So let us just pull an energy card. Let's see what comes up here. What is our takeaway from this read today? our takeaway that came right up 15 is the shadow appreciating the shadow and the light or someone giving you appreciation who doesn't really mean it right with that knight of cups reversed energy of someone who schmoozes to get their way so it's up to you to discern which it is and then we have the 44 again of the social worker atlas right who wears their heart on their sleeve someone who's you know, that kind social worker dealing with someone who's in that devilish energy, right? Who may be showing appreciation, but maybe they're doing it with an intention, right? To get what they want. And maybe this person's seen as a sucker, right? And then here we have the 16. And notice we have the 15, 15 to the 16 of the masculine magenta godhead, 15 to the 16 of the tower event, the explosion, and the Statue of Liberty here, of some of these liberties being taken. And again, that 9-11 energy here. And the clock says 11 minutes past 10, which is interesting too, because on my other card, it's 11 minutes before 11, which is actually 10.49. And this is 49 on the other side, 11. So 49 and 11, that's interesting. So the 10s and the 11s are coming up. So maybe 10, 11 is significant coming up here. But also I said 10, 8 and 11, 10. And maybe it's 10, 11 to 11, 10 is a very significant time period, right? With Scorpio coming up here. There's Scorpio, Capricorn, and then the 44, 8. 8 is Leo, of course. 
and that's the 8 of the 10, 8, and 10, 11. But I'm getting 10, 11 to 11, 10. And the 15 and 16 are coming up as well. And then we have, the, again, the Statue of Liberty or the Daughter's Independence here, right? Lady of Liberty with her flame in hand and book as well. Finding their independence or finding their mission. This could be the masculine as well. The 46 of the inner children finding their way. And this could be a parting of the ways between these two. But the need for this could be an X, the need to show gratitude to the twin or vice versa. Or these could be ch two children between these two who are parting as well. And this one maybe not knowing what they're going to do. And this one's always in her heart, but maybe worried that she won't be able to find her, her way or her mission. And this is that two of cups energy of the, the soulmates coming together, finding their mission. So there's lots of different variations of what these cards can come up for. Because then we have the dark mother here too, right? So here's the family, the little loving family here. And the door to romance of the 33 of Christ's vibration of standing up for oneself finding the key to your heart to set you free, right? You can't, you can't free a slave who holds on to their own chain, which Elena Danan always quotes. I think that's from Thorhan, her Pleiadian connection. So again, here's the dark mother energy of envy and judgment. And here is the thinking man, right? Being like a child again to find what they truly love to do, going out on the, in their independence. And it's very much like the page of swords energy. And then here we have the Statue of Liberty energy of the independence of the child or the sweetheart who's standing up for themselves or learning to be a social worker or work with others' hearts. And then this one who needs to show gratitude or learn gratitude or appreciation for others because maybe they've been a little bit egotistical in their life. Or maybe this is just a Capricorn person who looks cold on the outside, but they're not. And maybe they're really showing appreciation now. But any which way, you'll know who these characters are in your life. This could be, you know, two parents and two children with their mother, one of the mothers living with them perhaps, right? It could be the masculine and feminine coming together. Masculine's worried about finding his way, but worried about being judged by the other. And again, liberty's being taken away from them or the angels coming to the Statue of Liberty where the Pleiadian ship is supposed to come in. That was my download from a couple years ago. And... Um, I love New York, right? Here we have that big apple type of energy right here. And then there's a little flower being brought. It's funny because I did, I brought a, a, a bush flower just like that to my twin once many years ago to my office visit. So, um, okay, so it's Capricorn, Scorpio, perhaps Leo here. Um, a lot of water energy here. And then the Aquarius energy of judgment and envy over here. The bottom, of course, the last card is the door to romance, is working your way through all of these, these discordant energies that don't flow together or don't resonate or makes your energy discordant, right? Because you let it. You're refusing to let go of your chains and be around energy that you just love basking in. The underlying energy is the seventh chakra. Again, the crowning energy of the Statue of Liberty and the daughter finding her independence. The 41 of the Ace of Cups, self-love, spiritual love, and new love, of the crown opening, of having compassion for oneself, the seventh chakra, that crowning moment, and making a strategy, perhaps journaling, and completing a cycle. And we have a compass there too. And again, just figuring out what direction you want to take next. Let's see what was right before that. Yeah, so here's the thinking woman. She's taking off four to seven from heart to crown to find her mission with the butterfly, right? The daughter finding her independence, perhaps making a plan now that they're complete. And there's Pisces energy coming up there again as well. It's been coming up a lot with the daughter, right? Because she's always got one foot in this one for one foot in this world and one in the next, which is very much the energy of the new children. And then finding their independence, finding their way, and the, very much the indigo warrior children, right? finding their crowning moment here of self-love and not being manipulated by others around them. And that's the underlying energy coming up right there. So again, the child who's, she left already, but now here's another one kind of following her lead, 
right? And that can be also referencing this one who walked away already is the feminine, and now the masculine is doing his walking away from the dark energies that have affected him. All right, and just a journey of love card will do. Let's not make this too, too long. It's 2.44 on the clock now, which is the high priestess, and again, the social worker energy of standing up for oneself without getting triggered. Walking away when needing to. All right, from Journey of Love, what is our message today? This this one just hopped up, and this was like meeting my little great nephew yesterday. He had so much joy. He was reaching his arms, not up, but straight out at me, like a, but not like normal. Like they, they were so straight, and it was like he was beaming energy to me, just like this. The 46 of the inner children and how they are now, right? The, inner, the new children coming in with the ancient ones, right? So the parents and the children here, especially the daughters right now. What is, oh, there's a couple cards that came out here. I'm not gonna read all of them, but the first card that came out here is the 50 of the cloak, and there's, that's very much the energy of Jesus, taking time away to contemplate the cloak, right? The yin-yang lover bending over backwards for the divine masculine and the eight of the dance and the 35 of the wounded warriors coming together, right, to do the dance in the vortex. And then the final card is the, this is the deck card. It's the same on the front and the back of self-initiation of the two hanging, the wounded warriors hanging out together. And the self-initiation, though, into the void. The bottom of the deck here is the moon again. So the distant shores of the purple moon and zero point field expanding by four, the four by four of the heart, the chambers of the heart and the number four. Again, like in the other read, if you put the fours together, it becomes a pinwheel or a swastika, which is the star of the heart. Remember the swastika wasn't German to begin with, right? It was a very spiritual energy. So again, the four moons, the purple moon, of the zero point field and the four and the spaces between the words and word came up big time in the reads today too, right? The word is the two use and then ord also means word. So going from just one word to two words, the 24 of the queen of wands. And this is very two dimensional here, right? The space between the words to just to deal kind of, I was, I'm just getting like dead space too with the 2D. And 24 is omega as well. It's kind of like a, a pause between worlds. And we're going from that, that just for a moment joy of the 46 of the inner children with all that joy and then the need to go 2D because this is too excited they fall the other way to the 2D as opposed to, you know, 5D and staying there. And again, then going back to the zero point. So again, the polarities and then coming back to the midpoint there is what's coming up there in the underlying energy. Seeing the polarities in order to come to the middle, the 50 of extreme emotional happiness and contemplation, peace within oneself, the aid of the dance of bending over backwards, lining the vortex with the hair of the divine feminine, right? So their sunshine will come. The masculine thinking about the bending over backwards that she did, and then the wounded warriors of them both coming together in intimacy in the vortex, a self-initiation But it's the freedom of being the feminine, really happy within this intimacy, but also happy within herself. The hanging man and seeing new perspectives and seeing the polarities and being able to come back to center again, to come back to the void, which is the innocence of the heart, the page of cups. Okay, you guys, remember your water, your rest, your joy, your nature, your folly, your own intuition, your own discernment, discernment. And remember to breathe very deeply every day. Don't just do it when you see me or pass by it. Every day we need to really fill up that space in order to be able to take in the new light. 
So I'll see you guys soon. Have an amazing day. Rise and be loved, guys. Bye-bye.